Hey, everybody. Hey. Happy Thursday. Welcome to Wake Up Charlotte to Go. Happy Thursday, everybody. This morning we're talking about what was a, a big and, may I say, slightly unexpected win last <laughs> totally night. Unexpected. It's awesome. People at, were so pumped. At Bank of America Stadium. Let us know what you thought about uh, Charlotte FC's big win over Chelsea. Mm -hmm. um, Chelsea, one of the most storied, well-known, legendary, legendary soccer yes. clubs in the world. Uh, Charlotte FC, the newest. Um, so 50,000 people, 50,000 people. What a nice, the energy yes. just, wow, that's great. You could feel it. All right, Ruby, you have, uh, some more on this and what people are saying online. We've been talking about it all morning long. Yeah. So the score five to three in penalties. So basically a normal match usually, usually typically lasts at least 90 minutes. Well, this mm -hmm. was extended. So they basically had to win with penalties and Charlotte FC, they scored all five of their penalty shots. So that put them in the lead over Chelsea FC. They are one of the best teams in the world, like we've said, and Charlotte FC just took the win. Bank of America Stadium was crazy last night. Uh, 50,000 plus in attendance, like, that's crazy. When we first started with Charlotte FC, I believe they had over 70. So to just get close to that with this uh, match was really outstanding. Um, some people saying a friendly in the history books. Yep, this team is our fans. Uh, nice work, Charlotte FC. It's really just a lot of good positive feedback from the match uh, on social media. But I think it's just great that these guys are young, Charlotte FC. They are new and they really competed the best way they can. And I'm pretty sure they are waking up feeling like the the best in the world and as they should because they really you know started off strong ended strong and now it's like what's next for charlotte fc are we is charlotte the queen city now a soccer you know franchise or area yes. or something we, are, we have it all here now there, eh? like i said like i said yeah. during the broadcast if we can fill a stadium on a wednesday 50, night with 50,000 people yeah. it's amazing crazy. we are a sh you, you know some city. nfl stadiums don't even have 50,000 people at a, at a you know football game american football game people so, are ready uh, for soccer they really are you know charlotte has become uh, such a cosmopolitan city yeah. people uh, literally from all the united states all the world have settled here big uh, soccer fans here to help fill that stadium. And even though they had some issues early on, had the, we had a thunderstorm that tracked across the area that caused some problems. In fact, delayed the game with a lightning situation. So that's, uh, that's something I think that we need to remind people about, that if there is a severe weather threat, yeah. uh, within, if you notice that that's happening before a game, you may want to you know, get our, our weather app and, and pay attention to that because uh, that's, uh, that could have been a very yeah. serious situation. Was, I think delayed there. by about an hour last night. Yeah. So, yeah, Brad Panovich had, had posted this um, from the EOC. They issued that wireless emergency alert, yeah. and many fans... They said, were outside the stadium, did not seek shelter while the stadium went into their severe weather plan. Which, which really shuts everything down. They can't let people in. Exactly, point. because yeah. they said their gate attendants had yeah. to shelter for the safety yeah. of them. So they were just encouraging other people to be weather aware. Yeah. And, you know, if you're out at a bar, stay there for a little bit longer or go in well, your car it, or something. What I was going to suggest is this, because you have to be inside. So the, here's the thing to do. I mean, uh, you know, this is, I'm not asking permission, but uh, there are parking decks nearby to go inside there, inside, could that get you from outside where the lightning is happening? So that's, I mean, those are, you have to go inside somewhere. So if there are buildings like parking decks you can go into, if you're parked far away, do that because a lot of people had to stay outside, which is a very the dangerous pictures, situation. The pictures, there were so many yeah. people outside. Yeah, yeah. I think thousands actually, yeah. thing is, it didn't seem to sort of Discourage. Deter them, no. no they were right back in they there. Still yeah. showed up and that was and that makes it even more amazing, it, doesn't it? It really is. Um, we should say, and, and I don't know that this was accidental, that as this was happening, uh, news also leaked that, that Tepper Sports is pulling out of its Eastland Mall uh, plans. That yeah. They were planning, I think, putting the soccer headquarters there. Right. Um, and, and, of course, if you know the history of the last six months, we also know Tepper Sports sort of backed out of a plan in Rock Hill for a Panthers Two facility big there. Projects, right? Two big projects, yeah. which I'm sure we're going to learn a lot more about it. I'm sure there's uh, a lot more information we need to learn. But people noticed that that information came out while this other yeah. better stuff was Interesting happening. Interesting timing, right? I know, I know. So, people release news sometimes right on a Friday. Uh, they want exactly, you to... Uh, exactly. Be, be skeptical of anybody who releases, releases news on a Friday night because... This often they want you to take the weekend <laughs> and not pay attention to it. That's right. That's right. So let us know. What do you think, uh, Charlotte FC? We're now a, a, a soccer city for sure. I love uh, it. The thing about it is that victory last night, that's not only news here. That's news around the world. Totally. That little town, Charlotte, North Carolina, beat this major We're not little anymore. Franchise. We're not little anymore, Larry. That's right. All right.
Let us know. And we'll see you back here for another edition of Wake Up Charlotte to Go tomorrow morning. Bye, everybody.